uh, says in India, people say that because we cannot slaughter the Qurbani, or the Islamic word for it is Udhiya, so they want to give the money in cash to the poor. So is this permissible? The answer is no. It is not permissible to shift a emphatic sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ with your own logic. So for example, we know that udhiyah can only be offered from behimatul an'am, from livestock, from cattle, camels, cows, buffaloes, whatever, uh, 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 sheep, goats. You can slaughter any of those. If someone who's filthy rich and says, listen, I have a horse and this horse costs like $50,000. It's one of my most valuable possessions and I'd like to sacrifice it on the day of Eid and distribute the meat to the poor. I said, okay, but this doesn't have anything to do with Udhiya. It is totally um, bogus. It, it doesn't work. Another one says, okay, Akhi, how much is the sheep? It's 1,500 riyals. I'll pay 10,000 riyals and I'll buy fish of the best type and give it to the poor. Good. Zakallah khair. This is nothing to do with Udhiya. So you have to do exactly what the Prophet ﷺ told you and exactly what Allah has mentioned to us in the Quran. So either you slaughter your Qurbani or Udhiya or you don't. There's nothing in between as, okay, I'll give them money. Okay, I'll buy them biryani, rice and, and whatever. No, this doesn't work. Either you slaughter or not. And the funny thing is, in the past five months or more, with the COVID-19, nobody stopped eating meat. People kept on slaughtering. People kept on uh, 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 eating meat. So why is it when it, come, when it comes to Eid al-Adha, you say we, we can't slaughter. Slaughterhouses are working and they have no problem in that. So yes, you, you have to do that and giving